Hi everybody, I'm Mom and welcome to Momda's Life Handmade. Today I have for you a very beautiful DIY. I'm making a garland specially for the coming holidays, for the coming Christmas. It turned out really, really beautiful. I really like it. It's Santa special in traditional colors and it's really nice. You can call it farmhouse and you can even call it primitive decor. And the best of all, I did not spend anything in making it. I just had those items at hand and every crafter, every DIY buyer will find all these items in their home. So you need not go out, you need not buy anything for creating it and it's really beautiful. You can extend it, you can put any theme on it and you will have your own personalized garland for the coming season. My today's video is part of the challenge that is being hosted by my friends from YouTube, Sandra from The Showing's Nest and Jamie from Simple Road, Simple Living. I'll put links to both their channels and to the playlist in the description box of my video. If you're new here, please look around in my channel. I love doing trash to treasure, high-end tubes all kinds of DIYs related to home within budget and if you love such content please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video and to hit that little bell icon next to it with the ringing bell option so that you're notified each time I post a video and do share my videos and channel link with your friends and family who love to be creative that too within budget I have seen these kind of banner pieces which are available on Dollar Tree easily but obviously my alternative is a cardboard so I took this cardboard which came as a packaging for electronics so these kind of uh, cardboards are thin yet strong and they are finely corrugated so they are very strong retain a good shape and at the same time they are not very thick or soft so I took five pieces cut out five pieces out of it you can make as many numbers they're easy to cut to any shape or size you want and then I just uh, poked holes through them just be careful don't hurt your fingers so I just made two holes through them it's just so simple you don't need a drill or anything And I have these ready so any sharp instruments will do so I have five of these then I had these printouts you've seen this before I made a few DIYs with them so I've got this holy and berry I'm going to use two of these and then I got these printed out I found these on internet there are lots of images on internet I've always said pick what you like and you can make your own individual customized decor items so I'm going to use these three cute sweet Santas for making my banner or garland so I'm going to tear them gently tear them out I might use this stripes as well because I'm going to use decoupage technique I would prefer to tear it because that would give it a little uh, smudgy edge which is better than those crisp edges when you cut it so the best way would be to wet this paper all around especially where you want to tear it so it will have that you would observe that as I tear it there are fibers It is not the crisp paper edge now. It has those fibers of paper which is trying to come apart. And it merges very well with the surface where you want to decoupage it. So here I have the first one. Similarly, I'll take all of them out. And I might need to trim it a little depending on if it's coming out of the edge. So let me first tear them all out
So I have all the five pieces ready. Now it's time to decoupage them. So I'm going to use some Mod Podge or you can use one by one diluted uh, craft glue or white PVA glue with water and use it for decoupage. So apply it with a brush that's the best way to give it a thin look thin uh, coat and then just place the print out and then press it center outwards use the brush to smooth the whole thing So push all the bubbles using the brush and it will become flat and get integrated with the surface. Now also give a coat of Mod Podge over the printout that will give it a little shine as well as protect it. Kind of little bit of waterproofing. So once everything dries the Mod Podge or the craft glue always dries clear. So don't have to bother about difference in colors or anything like that. Aren't these already looking pretty but kind of vintage beauties? I like the prints, beautiful festive prints against the color of the cardboard. It's really looking nice. Now I'm going to also use this stripes that I've made here. I found them on internet and changed the hue to more reddish kind of stripes and it really looks nice. So I'm going to cut them so that they form little strips over this to give that more festive feel to it. So I'm going to give this red strips on top of it. So I'm going to cut them into pieces, all five pieces and then come back. So all of them cut to the size. Now I'm again going to use the same decoupage glue and glue it right on the top. It will give it a more finished look and again coated with a layer of decoupage glue. So again for protection and little shine. They are looking really nice. Now to merge this further with the background, I'm just using some white paint and just dabbing it along the edge. So not only I'm dabbing it onto the paper where my print is, but at the same time also on the cardboard. So this way when it dries up, they all tend to unify, they all become one piece and it looks also a bit kind of snowed over or something like that little snowy effect comes in just casually over the white surface around the print and then also extend the brush onto the cardboard or the wooden piece that you're working with Now all the snow effect is done and uh, you can still think that, feel that this piece look stands out more than the rest of the four pieces. That's because I use some crayons over the edges. Now one, I have seen people use stamping ink for this purpose as well. Basically what I'm doing is I've taken my crayon and I'm going over the edges, just defining the edges, shading the edges. Just highlighting the edges. Okay. 
Working with crayons gets much easier, faster and the finish is very good. These are all ready and if you are wondering where did the holes go, well because we have already made them, it's easy to now make the holes without destroying the finished product. Just uh, use your fingers to guide the owl and the owl will dip where the hole is. There is so much we learn from each other and from YouTube I learned a very nice technique if you have yarn or jute string which will be difficult to you know string through beads or thin holes just add a little tape on one of its end and it will take care of those fuzzy edges of the yarn and then it's ready it's like a needle now with the thread on it so I'm going to use some beads you can use bigger beads smaller beads tassels pom-poms anything you want and then use it Now this is ready and can be used for decoration. Here when placed against some greenery and added some lights here, this looks gorgeous. I really like how rich the colors look. It's got that primitive feel, the farmers feel, the very festive vibes. I really like it. It's going to look beautiful in the decor. With the greens and the lights, it's just majestic. Do let me know what you think about my today's DIY. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share this video and write down your comments. If you love my channel, please share my channel link with your friends and family who love to be creative, that to within budget. And I'll see you all very soon in my next video, in my next DIY. Until then, stay positive, be creative. And be happy. Thank you everybody.